Okay, so today, <coughs> we're going to look at the long-term repercussions of Queen Elizabeth II in the most epic reign throughout the entire history of humanity. Queen Elizabeth II of the Great British Empire was a lady like no other. Let us begin to look at the variable field sockets within the causal mainframe that could just prove the global causal ramifications of that lady's reign for over 8 billion people in the Benetton. Let's start. <coughs> Please forgive my coughing. I'm not having a very good time due to the parsing of Her Highness. Which reminds me that <coughs> when I was in Calthorpe's student house in 1995, I took so much LSD and speed and ease that I literally became His Highness. And it was a deep, divine, cosmic, very powerful alteration of circumstances in another dimension, let's just say that. <coughs> so let's start with an individual. Point one on the operation. Solo unit. You. And you. And you. Okay? Solo unit operating solo. He emanates his vibe frequency traditionally. We all have a sensorium, we all have a nervous system, and therefore, we emit energy in a radial field around our physiology. You can't see to save that energy unless you're really high. But you can feel it, heaven knows I felt it, when you don't feel it, it's when you're feeling down. It's when you're not up to your full great self. It's the energy of God within you. So anyway, we emanate out. On a 360 Polaris scope, polarity shield, from the inner core of the self on a polarized system of a global unit. There are people everywhere. This corresponding curve a diagram with a radial field and quasi crosshairs is actually one of roughly 8 billion souls. I can't repeat that now because that would just take too much time and I would be exhausted pointing out something very basic in visual format. So let's crack on. Imagine this replicated. Let's start from where? I think we all know where that shake the notes. This island is one of the most multicultural, compact, densely formulated, exquisite, based on genius, hospitable, civilized regions in the entire galactic known empire that the world entirely knows. We include outer space in that, because as you know, if you're any good at astronomy, or astrology, or particle physics, you will know that we don't have any knowledge of active, intelligent, sentient life beyond this world for megaparsecs, okay? So what you got, is you got a major situation. These little dudes here are everywhere. All over the shop. Tandem three, four, five, four, six, fold, eight, fold, threesomes and whatnot. All these correspond to these. And this is but one island of concentrated, supremely intelligent intermesh of souls, psyches and latent warriors of the divine. So as you can see, we have a bit of an issue because this little island happened to be in charge of one of the greatest empires the world has ever seen. Now we apologize in our new rave kingdom of Utopia for those on either side of the fence who at some point was the victim of an ancient form of totalitarianism or at least empirical empire building. However, in our defense, we have invented more things practically for the entire universe so far than any other nation, and even the Japanese will testify to that. So I think you can say these vibe emanations on a singular polarized individual level operate totally and entirely around only this one major island. But if you go over to America, for instance, they've got hundreds of millions of these, okay? And I would say 98% of them have heard of the Queen of England, okay? Russia, France, Israel. They've all got nukes in the air. No, that's, that's the wrong film, man. I'm kidding. That was uh, X-Men Apocalypse. I'm sorry. Bad, bad move. 
Um, no, no, no. What was that? There were full of people. China, Australia, Indonesia, India, Pakistan, Mombasa, Africa, South America, and all the islands in between. See, and it's full of people, you know? They're full of people, and they've all heard of the Queen of England. And that's why her passing has caused an intergalactic supreme uber shift of time dimensional properties within a hugely powerful culture. And that is not necessarily a good thing for stability, composure, good feeling, and especially not how it caught partying. So what you gotta do is you're gonna mold over and bend on beyond the forceps of the whatnot. And if you can do that, then you'll be alright. You just gotta hang in there with the main juices. You gotta fly with the flow of the new phoenix in the Aquarius dimension that we've gotta rebuild thanks to the fifth dimensional properties of their song, Let the Love Shine In. Because we all know what's on the cards with Russia and shit like that. You know, they want war. They think we're weak. Do you think we're weak? I'll let you be the judge of that. We don't want war. We want solutions. You understand? Solutions. So the X curve to the Y value on the exterior format of the digitized subset set is initialized primarily due to the curvature border theorem of the excess defense shield analysis. And I want this whole entire point covered with uh, laser field optical systems in order to prevent and ensure the safety of the denizens within the environment of the locale within its geographical plane. We already have all sorts of shit in the air and satellites in space. And it's nice to know that in the grand scheme of things, thanks to the Queen and her lineage of wisdom and excellent authority and noble matters of supreme virtue and grace, she is not an antichrist. And nor for any of you conspirators out there, she's a whore of Babylon, quite clearly, because she is past. And what it says in the Bible did not happen to her. So don't ever think that Queen Elizabeth the Great was the whore of Babylon, because you would be wrong. I think I've said my piece. Now let's get spunky, let's get hunky, let's slam dunk the main monkey, and let's go back to peace, and back to Brazil, for our coconuts. Ah, no, not that, not that. No, I'm kidding, no, I'm kidding. Um, okay, okay, yeah, yeah thanks, thanks. I don't want to, I don't want to make it to myself, but you know, these must, and I do what I do for a greater good. I do, I do, 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 do that. I do what I do for a greater good, because if I didn't do that, then I would just be a, a blob of morose, wobbling jelly in a cesspit of creation, jibbing into his own fear glands, and I don't think that is a suitable way forward, especially for jellyfish who already seem to be stuck in that state. I'm not a jellyfish. I've at least got teeth, and uh, incisors and molars, and uh, an elbow wound, and uh, a pectorals, man. Uh, I'm not even going away what else I got, but don't get too excited. <laughs> anyway, hope you're well, and uh, may she rest in peace, my friends.